what's up y'all thanks for tuning into my channel so this is going to be a full moon so wane um blue moon reading <laughs> weekly reading too because i want to see how this energy is affecting us throughout the week so if the lighting is dark hey it is what it is we're going with the vibes you feel me the halloween vibes so happy halloween happy so wane Happy Dia de los Mer Muertos. Okay. So, let's get into this reading. Let's see what this energy is bringing us. And then, um, I'm probably going to pull from the Sacred Self Care deck here at the end. So, yeah. I'm filming off of an iPad, so that might add to, like, I don't know. I don't know. Fuck the visuals. Fuck the visuals. Just listen to my voice, okay? Just listen to the message. So spirit. <laughs> what do you have? That was... No time waste. Okay, we have Isis, past life. This situation involves you, past life memories. Okay? So, whatever is happening this week or whatever energies you're coming into contact with this is energy of a past life which i mean it kind of makes sense because i mean think about it we're talking about ancestors we are our ancestors you know what i'm saying their blood runs through our veins and also some of the things we've gone through they've gone through so let's see Page of Swords. I kind of feel like this is you guys understanding that something is from a past life or something is deeper than what it seems. What the. Oh shit. Sorry if that paused. But um, with the Three of Swords. And then the, it's just something new. It feels like it's new, but it's not new. Some of you guys feel like you felt this type of pain before. You guys are coming to some understanding here about maybe something that you felt in the past. This could be heartbreak. This could be betrayal. This is very deep hurt feelings here. And you guys are moving forward from it or you're coming to a certain understanding from this pain. Let's see what the Three of Swords is. Okay, you have the Queen of Swords. So this could have been somebody that was very um, cutthroat. Somebody that wasn't very kind. Somebody that may have cut you deep. Maybe what they say hurts, okay? Maybe what they did have really hurt. With the ten of, what's this Ten of Cups? I feel like some of you might have felt like this person was like a wish fulfillment for you. Strength. I'm feeling like whatever this heartbreak was, for some of you guys, it might have hardened you, okay? This was to help you to come into self, um, come into your confidence. This was to strengthen you in some type of way. You have the King of Wands.
Okay, yeah, the tower. So there was a sudden change here. Or maybe there is a sudden change this week. You guys are learning through learning through something or growing through something here. I feel like a lot of y'all's energy is changing. It's causing shit to shift. Eight of Swords. So this could be a shift in your perspective, how you see things. Maybe, yes. I feel like, okay, you have the hermit here. So I'm getting that you guys are going within. Maybe some of you guys are in hermit mode. You're not really speaking to people right now. Um, oh, my back. Um, yeah. Or maybe this 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 was a shake up. It's like, oh, like, this person doesn't really spend time to themselves like that. You know what I'm saying? But it's like you guys are trying to gain strength from within. Because there's something within you that's trying to come out is what I'm feeling like. You have the Queen of Cups. So this could be somebody that's intuitive. Or this could be you guys coming into your intuition. Oh, way too many cards. But what I'm getting is... You're shutting yourself off from certain things and retreating in order to gain information. Okay, so we have the two pinnacles here. So whatever this information is that you're going within to gain. Excuse me. I just feel like um, it's going to balance something out here or it's going to put some things into perspective, allow things to fall into place where it's supposed to fall into place, if that makes any sense. Two of Swords, so I am seeing confusion. Maybe some of you guys are confused about what Spirit is telling you. Some of you guys might be fighting the messages that Spirit is showing you. Because it's like some of y'all are too much in your head. King of Cups, I'm sorry, Knight of Cups. It's. I feel like some of you guys are fighting something here. Fighting an offer. And with the High Priestess, it's like... It's something you know you should be offering or something you know you should be taking, okay? I'm getting that somebody is changing. Somebody might have rejected somebody, but they are their Ten of Cups. Somebody is realizing that their Ten of Cups, whoever they thought was their Ten of Cups, needed to break out of a mental prison and come into themselves gain confidence in themselves they were stuck mentally and they're fighting their intuition okay and we have the wheel of fortune so once they come out of that energy things will change or maybe once you come up, come out of that energy things will change so don't fight your intuition this week okay I'm getting some offer here. So people could be offering you things. Could People could be wanting to take you out. You know what I'm saying? You may be confused about this because you're like, how can I, you know, balance all these people? You know, how can I balance all these dudes? How can I balance all these females? Like, but I'm also seeing it's like, how can I balance my relationship with my life or my work with my life and i feel like something will come to you this week but there is there's a shake up with somebody or it's like somebody is finally coming out of the mental prison that they held themselves in this week and they were in the mental prison because of heartbreak from the past okay so the past was holding them back you or somebody else <sighs> okay this is very deep this is hitting my back for some reason like oh okay let me pull y'all closer 
Maybe I can sit back a little bit. All right, so let's see what the full is. What's this new beginning? People are they're talking about taking a leap of faith. This is what spirit is saying. We have the eight of wands. So this is moving quickly into something here. Or maybe something is coming quickly or you're jumping in quickly into something. Okay, six of wands. So this is recognition. What are y'all getting recognized for? What are y'all being seen for? Okay, three of wands. So... I think this is something that you guys have been waiting on. You guys have been waiting for something or someone and now it's coming in quickly. Okay, this is a new beginning that is coming in quickly. Some Somebody is being recognized here. Yes, moving on, moving forward with the chariot. Do you see this? Y'all are overcoming some type of obstacle. Maybe this was an obstacle of impatience. Maybe some of you guys were impatient or somebody that you were dealing with was impatient and they just had to overcome that energy within them we have the empress so this could have been an, a feminine energy that was impatient okay but now it's like with the feminine energy she's learning how to allow things to grow naturally that's how that's how it happens in nature right you have to just let things be that's how you manifest we have the ten of wands so this may have taken a great deal of work for this whoever this is it might be it may be a feminine energy here but um it's like strengthening a spiritual muscle is what i'm getting allowing yourself to walk away even though you didn't want to allowing yourself to detach from something even though you didn't want to Also seeing that the disappointment in something was really heavy on some of you guys. Ace of Wands. So now there's some a new beginning. There's new energy here. For some of you guys, this could be I'm seeing new dick. Okay. This is for some of y'all. So a new relationship. So we have double con double confirmation of a new beginning here. So you walk away from something in order to walk into something else. Four of Pentacles, you're walking into stability. This is something you created for yourself because you allowed yourself to let go of something here. Okay, we have the lovers. So this could be a relationship. Or this could be you making a choice and choosing someone else. Or choosing the most stable person. Somebody that is stable, judgment, spirit will tell you who it is, spirit will show you, spirit will guide you. This could also be something coming back to life, maybe a relationship coming back to life. Something that you thought that you had to walk away from forever. There is a resurrection, there is a new beginning, some type of creative new endeavor. Um, Y'all doing things differently. Okay. That the seven of cups what is the seven of cups because i'm seeing it could either be confusion or just like yeah i'm seeing confusion maybe some of you guys don't know if you've made the right choice or not princess of pentacles it's like where did you plant your seeds Okay, so I'm seeing that you chose one. You chose one. Whatever choice that you made, you're watering it or you've watered this, this person, this situation, this seed, and then you're reaping what you're sowing. Seven of Pentacles. Okay? This is harvest. It's like out of all the options, one was chosen and it was the most stable one. 
the most stable option. So I don't know if that means anything to you guys. Out of all the options, you guys are choosing the most stable option for you. Okay, so whatever that is for you, but I'm seeing that it's new or it is a renewed energy here. Or maybe it's you that is in a renewed energy or this could be a feminine in a renewed energy here. Okay, so let's see what the Princess of Swords is. I'm also getting that there was somebody in between. Somebody was keeping you from your happiness. And this this energy here is the Queen of Swords. Um, I'm getting possibly reversed in, a, in the reversed because... This person, hold on, let me, let me sit this down. Oh, okay, I'm going to talk about that later. So let me just show you guys what I'm seeing first. This is your heart, okay? This is the person in between you and getting what it was what it was that you want this is you being connected to the divine being connected to spirit being connected to whatever family unit this is something that actually makes you very happy somebody was saying no by their words by how they acted you know what i'm saying very cold very brutal this person caused a lot of heartache in your life or in somebody that you know in their life i'm seeing it took strength and courage to overcome something here or for somebody to overcome this and to actually get out of their head you know what i'm saying and get into like their heart get out of their head get into their heart tap into their intuition what is spirit telling you is what i'm getting because all this confusion, all this fighting, all this back and forth is coming from not being connected to the divine, not connecting to the divine. It's not that you're not connected, but it's you actively connecting to the divine, to your intuition, to the feminine energy. And that's what we did get this past week. Um, is about the Divine Feminine. And here we have the Divine Feminine. Again, Isis. Look up the story of Isis and Osiris, okay? So underneath the Princess of Swords, we have the Ace of Pentacles. So there's something new. There's a new beginning here this week for you guys. This could be monetary as well. Some of you guys could be moving into new homes. You could be getting an offer here. Something you can see, something you can touch, okay? Whatever ideas are coming to you, it's almost as if they're just manifesting out of thin air. So what I'm getting is you need to be brave enough to go after these things. With the Knight of Pentacles here, I, this energy has come up before. I got that somebody was going fast, somebody was going slow last time. But it's like either way, you're both going towards the same pinnacle. Like you're both going in the right direction. Y'all both have the right idea. It's just somebody's going slow and somebody's going fast. So that could be for some of you guys. But for others of you, this is ending with the death card. So what is ending here? What is ending? Five of Pentacles. So this could be like lack mentality, being in lack, living in lack. Okay. Being left out in the cold. Or maybe somebody left you out in the cold. Yes, this is getting out of that energy. Y'all are getting out of that energy and coming into the Queen of Pentacles energy. This is abundant energy. This is luxurious energy. This is, I, I see it. I like it. I want it. I got it. 
That's that's the energy that a lot of y'all are coming into now. And it's because you're changing how you think. So like I said, some of y'all's thoughts are really manifesting things out of thin air. That's that feminine energy. And that's you guys taking back control with the emperor. Control of your thoughts. Control of your life. Control of where things are going. Control of the um, direction of your life. Okay. So with the Ten of Swords, I'm seeing an ending here. What is this ending? Okay. I have the Nine of Cups. Excuse me. So. Oh. Oh, snap. And with the Justice card here. Okay. So I'm getting that the lack of... Um, everything that you were missing, you will, you won't be missing anymore. Okay. This is karma. You guys are meant to come into your wishes. Your dreams are meant to be fulfilled. You're balancing out. That's what I, I'm getting. This whole thing is about you guys balancing out. Okay. There's a truth coming. You guys have all the aces out. I Oh, no. The ace of cups is the last one. But you have the fool. So that's like the head haunch of all the aces. But you have the ace of swords. So this is truth. So you guys will be coming into some type of truth that's going to dead any like bullshit. Maybe even um, if somebody was trying to control you, that's over with now. Okay. It's like, so, like I keep getting somebody was in the way. Something was in the way. But that's over now. And now it's like you can balance out. You can have whatever it is that you've been wanting. Because what whatever you've been seeking is seeking you. This is karma. So it's like if somebody wasn't telling you the truth, they will be getting their karma. Okay? If somebody was trying to deceive you, if somebody put you out in the cold, if somebody fucked you over on some like on some money or like a living situation, they will be getting theirs. And then you will be getting what you deserve. You'll be getting the nine of cups. Spirit, is there anything else you have to say? You have the devil. So the truth is somebody was fucked up. That's the truth. And whoever was fucked up, I'm telling you, the cards don't fucking lie. Whoever fucked you over will be getting theirs. Spirit doesn't turn a blind eye to, you know, the things that people do to others. Ever. Ever. Princess of Wands. This person was childish as fuck. They just needed to grow up. And Spirit is going to whip their ass into shape. You feel me? Four of Cups. They're going to be wishing and hoping and, like, wishing and praying that they didn't do what they did to you. Is what I'm getting. This is divine justice. This is divine retribution. I've said this before, but this energy keeps coming out. Okay? Somebody is praying. Somebody is just sitting here and depressed. Like, fuck, please, God, like, help me. Help me. This might have been some of y'all, like, sitting here like, oh, my God, like, when, I, when is this thing that I want going to come for me? Like, will it even ever come? Just sitting here praying. Praying for an answer, praying for a manifestation to appear. We have the Queen of Wands. Okay, so this is some of you guys here. This is you guys coming into yourselves. This is you guys understanding the the divine law, like not feeling alone anymore, not feeling like um like like the world is against you is what I'm getting. Four of swords at the bottom of the deck. So this is definitely meditation. So this week is calling you guys to think deeply, to meditate, to even take a break from certain people, okay? I see movement here. I see you guys detaching from somebody or from someone or a situation. The magician. Okay, this is you guys manifesting movement here. Okay, you guys are about to get what you guys want. Here with the Ten of Pentacles. 
yes this is like money this is stability for some of you guys this is the family that you've been wanting seven of wands this is protection so some of you guys aren't talking about something here um or maybe you're not talking to somebody with the two of cups this could be somebody that you might have you might be in a relationship with or might have been in a relationship with and maybe they're um anxious they're having anxiety because it's like you were the sun in their life you put in a lot of work in this relationship and i feel like they're saying that they didn't or they're saying that you did and they're trying they're trying to see things in a different perspective or they are seeing things in a different perspective but they're still guarded and with the moon card, it's like this moon is really illuminating something about this whole situation here. Okay, this person's subconscious is really like it's egging them to make a choice, make a decision, walk on the path, walk on the divine path. And once they start walking on their divine path, you know what I'm saying? It's going to open up their world. It's going to allow them to exit cycles of codependency so they can be independent. So with the Six of Cups, I'm just seeing like, it's it's been like this. It's always been like this in past relationships, co this codependent cycle. But with you, it's like it stopped. With you, it was something else. With you, it was natural, it was healthy, it was fruitful, it was um, pure. But somebody, somebody's energy was very destructive, okay? They cared more about the uh, material world than what was going on in the home, okay? Maybe even their health was starting to decline. Yes, I'm seeing that. Um, their health was starting to decline and the people that they were working with, um, it, that shit started to decline too or people started not wanting to fuck with them like that. Okay. But I do see a new beginning here. So I see a new beginning for you, okay? I'm seeing to keep the faith. Keep the faith. Believe. And things will turn back around. Because I do see somebody like upside down. And this, it could be a masculine energy here. But it also just could be somebody that is very dogmatic. Somebody that likes to stick to the books. And that's not what this life is about. And it's about going within um going within being in the heart space and believing in the unseen and people were trying to tap into the scene and you have to walk by faith not by sight that's what i'm getting okay so yeah let's see how you guys can take care of yourselves this week wow this video is longer than what i thought see a shake up a change there is a huge change here for the better for a lot of you guys and this is involving your past life so what there is a situation here that you guys have been going through or dealing with where um this is somebody from your past life this is somebody from this life that you dealt with from the past and you're dealing with the um, residual energy of them okay but this week it's all about coming into new energy, completing a cycle. Hey. Huh? Oh, oh. shit. Residual energy coming into yourself and understanding yourself, being more confident in who you are. Okay? I see you guys being seen. I, I, it's like a feminine energy, is what I'm picking up on. It's like if you weren't being seen before, you're being seen now, okay? 
if people were holding you back before spirit spirit is breaking you free oh shit all these damn cards okay they're like okay you've, you've shuffled enough all right all right can i get three spirit thank you yes thank you Keep getting this one and this one we this is energy carrying on into this reading okay so the first one we have is ground yourself so yeah i'm getting to ground yourself okay definitely when you go into hermit mode that is very grounding energy virgo energy hello earth energy um we have beauty ritual so this is about taking care of your out outer body so you know, get your hair cut, paint your nails, do your hair, take care of your outer. Because once you feel good about yourself, you um, you act better. And then we have nurse your temple. So this is about eating well. This is about, you know, what you put in is what you get out. It's the six of pentacles energy. That energy that you put into yourself is what you're going to get out. All right. So I want to pull some more of this. We got independent bass at the bottom of the deck what's up that's my girl she's been showing up all day to me so today's her feast day happy halloween happy halloween my stomach wants to make sounds after i say that happy halloween happy serene happy feast day bass okay wow we have the terrors twice okay so we have white terror sensitivity you're becoming increasingly sensitive avoid harsh relationships environments situations and chemicals okay so like this is what i was saying about with the nourish your temple you gotta watch what you put in your body because you can't keep doing what you were doing in the past. You feel me? Like, you just can't. You're more sensitive now. Especially if you're watching me. Um, you're more sensitive now. And if you're watching me and you don't understand tarot, cl click the fuck off. This doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make sense to me. If you don't fuck with tarot, why, why are you watching? If you don't believe in it, why are you watching? Great Tara, start delegating. Ask others, including me, to help you instead of trying to do everything by yourself. So this is some of you guys that have an ego situation, okay? Or maybe you are dealing with somebody that has an ego and they find it very difficult to ask for help. There's nothing wrong with asking for help. That doesn't mean that you're weak. That doesn't mean you have to do everything yourself. Like, you, we're not meant to be here alone. We're not meant to do shit by ourselves alone. It's okay to ask for help, okay? That's another thing. The one thing I learned from counseling is that it's okay to ask for help. Because sometimes when we're the giver all the time, we forget to give to ourselves. And that's why we got to do these type of things for ourselves. We got to give to ourselves in the most physical of ways, okay? Physical and spiritual. And spirit wants to help. So ask spirit for help, you know? Pray. Pray for what it is that you want. There's something good coming through, so pray for it. All right? And then you have Eracura blossoming. You're just getting started, so have patience with yourself in the process and do not give up. So, yeah, this is a whole process, you guys. This whole, like, this life thing is not easy. Um, there's a lot of past life things going on. So, you're just coming into yourself. What did I say with the Queen of Wands? Hmm. You're coming into yourselves this week. You're understanding yourselves. There's a lot of like, I'm getting root chakra um, activation, root chakra balancing coming this week. You guys understanding yourselves and fully being yourselves and understanding who you are more as a spiritual being than a physical being, okay? Because this is more spiritual than physical. 
So that's what I'm getting for you guys. I love y'all so much and I will talk to y'all later.